Hey everyone, it's Craig, Craig's TV, and I'm out in my garage again doing another project. So check this out. So in the world of building hives, you got to figure out how to do these finger joints. And although this is not the first one I did, took me quite a long time to uh, <laughs> get this down. This is one that I did, so it's pretty cool. Um, you know, great, great, great tight finger joints. And I didn't glue this one together because I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It's just like a sample or whatever. But here's how I did it. I went by another saw because that cheapo craftsman one can't handle a three quarter inch dado blade that can cut a three quarter inch uh, thing. Whatever you call those things. So what you do, you take this piece, put it right here and you put another piece of wood. Here, I can show you this one way better here. So, <clears throat> so the very first one, start this all over with. So you take the material and you put it in here and it stops up against this stop. You cut this one and it cuts that one. Then you take this out without touching the blade. And then you take this and put it over top of that. And you go again. Then you move it over, do it again. And you just keep going down here and you just keep moving it over a tooth and you just keep cutting them. And when it's all said and done, you end up with this. And the one thing you got to remember is that this piece, you don't cut the top one, and this piece, you did cut the top one. Now, if this was a real hive, the other thing that has to be done is I have to cut a little ledge in the short end of this thing here. So, much like this hive that's well used, it's got a nice steady long leg in there. So this groove right here has to get cut first before you put it together because that's where the actual frame set. There's one on this end here, cut, and there's one on that one. So you gotta cut that thing and then do the rest of it. And it'll all work out. So and then after you're done, Remember a few videos ago, I showed you how I was cutting these. Well, I've got to take the, the jig I made for those, and I'm actually gonna use that same dado blade in there. I used the half inch dado blade to do the ones I did. I wanna be able to use that same one because it's already in the machine. So I'm gonna try to figure out if that'll work. And you, uh, you basically have a jig that you take this thing and you push it down in the thickness of half of the box and then you, when you pull it you curve it up it's got a, a ramp system in it and it and it makes that cut in there and I want to do all four sides so I have the jig set up to be able to do all four sides that way you can pick it up any direction anyhow just like that box and like those boxes over there so anyway, so that's my latest expensive project, <laughs> but I'll be able to build my own hives now. So pretty excited about that. Where does it go? Pretty excited about how that came out. The only thing I don't like is how it shreds the box on the backside as it's coming through. I haven't quite figured out how to eliminate that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But for it being a beehive, it really doesn't matter. So anyway, I would do another set here, another set there, put the box together, and I'm ready to go. May not do quite as many screws. Um, I don't know. For my boxes, I probably will do that many screws because I've got some boxes that are spreading apart on me where they're not really attached up here very well. And the other thing that's really cool is my seams are perfect, perfectly smooth there. So it really went together really well. 
I'm really excited. So, yeah, that's what I did. <laughs>